During my trip to Bangkok, I've discovered gourmet places like Gagan, Nam, but also street food stalls, local restaurants, floating market, railway market. I wouldn't say one place is better than the other. However, when you're in Bangkok, you just have to experience them all. Three appetizers, five main courses for four people. Um, apparently, we did over order, but we still managed to finish all of them. So each of us paid around um, thirty-five US dollars, and um, that's not very expensive, but it's not like a street food cheap either. By just staying here for three days, I've already experienced a food coma from breakfast to lunch to dessert to afternoon tea and then dinner and drinks. Bangkok has offered me various food choices. But back to basics, what I remember the most are the fruit options from mangoes, mangosteens, durians and papayas. Those fruit you can find in all other countries but much better in Thailand, Bangkok. I'm in Tonglo Station from the SkyTrain, and this is a local and posh area. And can't wait to discover this mango sticky rice shop. You might argue, doesn't all the mango sticky rice taste the same? But let's find out the secret.